more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Fly Eagles, fly. All right, man, I'm hearing some weird scuttlebutt about my man. Well, hold on, pause. Got to pause that. About my man, Nicobe Dean. The heck is going on out here, man? People are drawn, absolutely drawn. There's no way anyone watched that Commanders game, right? And came away with their own opinion that N'Kobe Dean didn't play adequate at the very least, right? I'm seeing uh, comments here on the channel, people telling me that uh, uh, people dogging on N'Kobe Dean on social media and everything. Thank God I don't get on social media, right? I can't stand social media, so I already get enough of it here with the comments and people coming and bringing it here. I can't take goofy comments like that, right? Uh, you got somebody came in here and said that uh, something like can't lie, uh, the, they locked in when they took N'Kobe Dean out. Fuck out of here. What? That doesn't even make sense, <laughs> right? <laughs> Listen, I don't, I've gone back and watched this twice, right, on the All-22, just the defense there, just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. The entire defense sucked, right? It was trash dookie. You cannot point to any one specific player and say that they had a good game. But if you were to point to at least one person, it would probably be N'Kobe Dean because the dude was everywhere, absolutely everywhere. And going to get into a little bit of a film study here to show you some of the things that he did and where he can go beyond this. Uh, you got to be encouraged if you're uh, Coach Sirianni and, uh, and Coach Desai and all these guys like that. Um, for the future of your team at the linebacker position with N'Kobe Dean, with him playing like this against a team that threw the ball over 50 times. This is not a game made, or this was not a game made for off-ball linebackers at all. The Washington Commanders dominate on the inside. They have some of the quickest wide receivers, not just fast. These guys have deep speed, but they're quick. Nobody can hang with them. Somebody talking about Nick Morrow or something like that, uh, is, is can cover better and blitz and all this and that, right? Uh, they're going by one game, right? Not every game. This is what I try to tell people. Every game is its own entity. You may be able to blitz against one team very easily. They might not have the... The, the skills, right? They not have the adequate personnel to combat that. You can go against another team and that shit not work at all. That's what happened with Nicholas Morrow after that game where he did get those uh, two or three sacks or whatever he, had, whatever he had, right? So that was not a game conducive for off conducive for off ball linebackers because those guys will absolutely dust them. And they have a dope tight end in Logan Thomas as well. But you can't guard Jahan Dawson. Uh, you can't guard Curtis Samuel. You can't guard Terry McLaurin. The outside cornerbacks couldn't guard them. James Bradbury smoked. Darius Slay smoked. Brought in Sidney Brown in the slot. He was smoked. Eli Ricks, uh, he gave us some catches as well. All right? The safeties were struggling when they were in coverage, both Reed Blankenship and, of course, uh, uh, Byard as well. So, Come on, man. <laughs> you can't point out one specific person, and it's all due to what I said at the beginning of the year, right, before. I had somebody in the media start calling him Shrimpy Dean and all this and that, and then people start listening to that shit. Formulate your own opinion. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to formulate your own opinion. Man, look at this. All right, here we go. Dean back off ball here. They're in that special, right, heavy unit package. I right, got to pause that. They're in that package to where... Um, Dean is the only linebacker on the field here, and I believe they have Sidney Brown in the game as pretty much a pseudo linebacker. Um, I'd have to check that right there on all 22, but you can see the base personnel up front. So, you know, Dean is going to have to work from pretty much the B gap on this one right here. It looks like you're going to have right with, with Jordan Davis in the game. He's going to tie up a couple of blocks here, right? He's got this gap here. Uh, big Fletch right here, same kind of deal. So your man's got to get in where he fits in, right? You can see him play this just like Brian Robinson, the running back, right? You see them mimic the same steps and watch how much quicker the Kobe Dean is to the spot. And this is not an impactful play. Look at that. He beats him to the spot on some peekaboo shit. What did I say? I've been calling this man that for years. The hall monitor. No running on the hall monitor. Look at this, right? You trying to work with these gap schemes and shit like that? Look at him approach the opposite B gap here, 
right? And immediately decipher, like, nah, that's not going to be it right there. He beats him to the spot. He does a great job of working off Jordan Davis. He knows Jordan Davis is showing presence in that gap. So he's like, you know what? Let me go ahead and fit in, get in where I fit in. And then look at this. Peekaboo on some Freddie and Jason type shit right there and getting himself a tackle for loss, right? You know the running backs only carried the ball 12 times in this game. I said they threw the ball over 50 times, right? And the yardage that they had was not on Dean. It was on when Morrow was in the game. Morrow didn't do anything. I don't know if anybody saw that. Not trying to disparage Morrow. They all play for the same team. They all play Fire Eagles, right? But to try to prop up Morrow when he was out there, he didn't do He didn't chart. I looked at this twice and I was like, man, I don't see Morrow doing anything right here. And I'll show you a couple of things right there. But then I looked at the stats and he did not chart. Keep that in mind. All right, same deal right here. The hall monitor mirroring this inside zone by Brian Robinson. You'll see here from them going on the center. He's going to try to bend that bad boy. You'll see Dean here kind of skirt around the combination block right here. And he has such strong grip strength. Like, I've noticed that about him. He does not miss, like, he, more times than not, right? Nine out of ten times, I'm going to say he leaves you where you stand. And that's the mark of a good linebacker right there. If you encounter the person and then they're not going past you, look at that. Oh, look who's in on it right there with that grip strength. That left hand right there. We saw him do this in the preseason. I believe he ended up stripping the, um, getting himself a strip tackle in that one. But you can see him skirt around the block here, the combination block. Get his hands on Brian Robinson's shoulder pads, and you ain't going nowhere. Just like in school. You try to run past the hall monitor, what was he going to do? He's going to grab your shirt and tell you no running, man. Right? You ain't running past the hall monitor. Congratulations, buddy. You got a trip to detention. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? All right, same deal right here. You see on this rollout, the Kobe Dean mirroring Sam Howell, and you can see his closing speed. He forced the errant pass. Eli Ricks was the one who panicked in this situation here. If you're talking about blitzing or making impact, right? Look at that. So much closing speed right there. My man had to just pull the rib cord. There was no reason for Eli Ricks to panic on this transition. However, these boys, like I said before, these are some of the best set of wide receivers, period. If not the best top to bottom targets in the league, the Washington Commanders have, right? Look at that right there. Closing speed. I know y'all be seeing it. We be flying around on the field like that. Saying Howard just had to get rid of it. They would have been off the field. But Eli Ricks with the uh, pass interference right there or the holding call, man, was everywhere. Once again, not to bang on our own player here, but Nicholas Morrow, when he was in the game, you saw he didn't chart. No tackles, no pass breakups, nothing. But you in the game, man, and if N'Kobe Dean did something like this, you guys be all over him. Look at that. Whiffing on a tackle right there. Right, and the Kobe Dean going to break down in space. It's going to be tough for you to get by the hall monitor, right? He's going to take that inside shoulder force right here. Uh, Dean would, right? And Morrow right here doesn't necessarily do that. You want to take that inside shoulder force, force them to the sideline. There's going to be more players there. But he takes on the outside plane right here. But once again, it's Curtis Samuel. So trying to tackle somebody in space, that's one of the hardest things that you can do, especially a guy like Curtis Samuel. Built like a running back, but with that wide receiver agility and all that. It's a tough it's a tough ass, no doubt about that. But let's be real here. If that was the Kobe Dean, you'd be hating. Watch the hard monitor to clean this shit up right here. Gets depth, right? Taking away that middle third. Now he has to break down and get Brian Robinson in space. Look at that grip strength that I was telling you about. Somebody busted coverage on this too. Because think about this right here. Who's guarding the flat? There's always an answer to everything on a defense right here. So, the flat should be guarded. You got Byard right here on the tight end. N'Kobe Dean get in depth. Uh, it would either be Slay, right, who's on a vertical bell, so not him. Uh, I would have to think my boy Haas right here. Haas looks like he may have busted coverage and should have been guarding the flat as well if he was going to rush up field. But you see N'Kobe Dean on the cleanup right there. That's a tough tackle out in space for somebody who already gets has the ball before you arrive there. I've been in them situations millions of times playing linebacker, man. It's not an easy tackle, especially on Brian Robinson, who breaks a ton of tackles there. But as you can see right here, I leave a man where they stand at the very least, right? You make sure he doesn't get even more yards. That could have been an even bigger gainer right there with N'Kobe Dean with that grip strength. All right, one of them cats said something about 
the Kobe Dean and blitzing and everything, right? Come on, who impacts this play right here? And there's a couple of things I want to talk about on this play. Watch him shoot this A guy. Bang! Straight prison loving on Antonio Gibson. And look, if it wasn't for him rushing that throw, Darius Slay is beat on this play. Right? Just like everybody else in this game, right? People think that just because the ball wasn't completed, it doesn't matter. In the film room, you have to grade that. That wasn't because Darius Slay made the play. That was because the Kobe Dean hurried the throw. He ran over Antonio Gibson, gave him a little bit of that prison loving. Bang! Look at that. Fertilize that man, right? Get into his commissary out in prison. Out in that yard right there. Made him hold his pockets. Look at him. He had to hold his pockets on the way down. Down goes Gibson. Come on. So that man had no choice but to launch right there. He couldn't even set on it right there. Ends up overthrowing it. That could have been a touchdown. Then what? All right, you want your inside linebacker to arrive with a boom. We see Logan Thomas right here on this drag. I believe Dean gets depth and then has to come and assist with the uh, cornerbacks, right, or the defensive backs right here not able to get Logan Thomas down. Get depth right here. Now watch him come. Bang! <laughs> Look, he ends up taking out Bradbury. Right, you had Eli Ricks coming in there. Eli Ricks and Bradbury on here. Eli Ricks gets fertilized, right? He gets trucked out of his mind, right? He's done. Bradbury, he ain't got nothing there, but watch when the Kobe Dean arrives right here. Arrives with the thunder. Bink! Right there, knocks them both. Get a bowling pin situation, the two for one right there. The Kobe Dean arriving with that thunder. Let's get it again. Get that death. Survey. Bang! <laughs> Why Bradbury went down easier than a $2 hooker. Come on, Bradbury. Bradbury having kind of a, a struggle season right here. Look at him. <laughs> Make him stop. He look, he look like he's battered and, and abused. Make him stop. <laughs> Come on, man. I right, watch him here on the carom. He's going, to, he's going to follow his assignment right here, right? Got Antonio Gibson on the leak out right here, right? He's going to follow that out, carom back, and make the tackle here on, I want to say, Curtis Samuel. Look at this. Follow the assignment out. Nope. Jocko. <laughs> Look, and left that man waste. <laughs> that, that stopped real quick, right? <laughs> we got to see that full speed again. Look. Look. Follow his original assignment right here. Then he's like, hey, you, no running. He's like, yes, sir. <laughs> he made that man say, yes, sir. You trying to run on the hard monitor like that. He's like, he ain't looking. You're trying to run while he ain't looking. Bang, get him like Terry Tate, the office linebacker. Y'all remember that shit back in the day? This man is like the office linebacker. What are we doing here? Now, this is what I think people, right, had a little angst, right? People will remember one snapshot, one play, and they'll equate that to someone's entire game. So, N'Kobe Dean right here, you'll see Jamison Crowder, I believe, in a tight slot working with an in-breaking route. Is he supposed to be able to guard Jamison Crowder? And he still makes a tackle there. But come on. The receipt, the cornerbacks couldn't guard Jameson Crowder at the end of the game. He ends up getting a touchdown uh, running past James Bradbury and Reed Blankenship. But look at him cross face right here. The Kobe Dean's not going to be able to do that. That's not that's not his job right there. That's why you got to have uh, Sidney Brown here, right? That should be the the, the um, assignment there. Or you got to get in that big dime package to get Eli Ricks on the inside or somebody else there. That's just an exercise in futility, man. He's not going to be able to do that. So if that's your reasoning for being mad at N'Kobe Dean, well, I'll be John Brown. All right, conversely, this is probably why people think that Morrow can, can cover better. Neither one of them guys, none of those linebackers, all three of them can't, can't cover. That's just the deal right there. You got to either get somebody, right? You got to go out and get somebody or you have to adjust your scheme to make sure they're not in coverage, especially on inside receivers. Maybe a tight end, but you can see the tight end right here. Not a Jamison Crowder. He's just running a seam route straight up the field. Morrow is already back off ball here. So he's already sinking back and sinking underneath this. He doesn't make the play or anything like that, but I mean, it looks a little bit better, but it's not Jamison Crowder with a route transition. This is just a seam route. But people will see that and be like, man, come on, Cletus, man. That shrimpy Dean kid is out there. He can't cover. Look at that. Who is that? That ain't nothing. 
Oh, that that route defended itself right there, and he made that man, <laughs> he made that man do a flip. Right, he flipped, slut tire. <laughs> he had to flip it off, man. Come on, what are we doing here? This is what Morrow was doing out there. Ah, uh, your boy Morrow out here getting caught up on the block like an old head, right? <laughs> you get a, a tight end blocking him, right? He just baits the tight end right here. Come on, you got to be able to get off a tackle. I mean, get off the block. Especially of a tight end. Look, at he's just caught up inside and the run goes right by him. That's why he's not charting. You got to stack and shed the block. This is meant for you too. Contavia Street tying up a double. Mitten Williams tying up a double. Hassan Reddick, right? Initially on the double, then they combo up tomorrow, the tight end does, and is able to seal him off, right? Thank God you had Zach Cunningham kind of sl slowing him up in the back right there. But Eli Ricks converges and Kevin Byatt right there. So, like, come on. That man had, if anybody, right, you could say he had the most impactful defensive game in a game with zero impact defensively, right? So that probably doesn't make any sense, but you get what I'm saying. There was a poor performance by every single person on the defense. I'm not sure if they had the hangover because they looked so good against the number one offense uh, in the NFL in Miami, or if uh, some looking ahead, right, to the Cowgirls week or something like that. I don't know, but that's not the offense that you – I uh, overlook at all. So if you're thinking the Kobe Dean can't play football, man, go slap yourself, man. You drawn. Absolutely drawn. So I right, we shall see, man. Can't wait for the Cowgirls, man. Eventually we're gonna have to flip the page and, and see what them boys is up to right there. It should be a good game, man. So we'll see what's going on. But let me know what you thought about the Kobe Dean's game out there. Um you know the haters gonna be chiming in and have some goofy shit to say, but what what can you say on a game like that? The guy had damn eleven solo tackles, eleven, twelve total tackles, eleven of them solo. He's doing the damn thing. All right. So as always, man, big shout outs to everybody out there, man. Thanks for support supporting the content, man. If you haven't already, man, make sure you tip your waiter. You know I'll be serving that hibachi, and uh, man, make sure you're sharing the content. Make sure you're taking it to social media, message boards, and all of the things above. As always, man, big love to South Jersey. Big love to Jersey, period, man. I love the entire Jersey, North Jersey, Central Jersey. Uh, shout outs there. Shout outs to uh, Delaware. And shout outs to Philly, Philly. Shout outs to Alney out there, right? We was out Alney. <laughs> well, I might shouldn't be shouting out Alney, right? <laughs> shout outs to Alney, though, right? But shout outs to the entire Philly and shout outs to Elton, Maryland, of course. All right. <clears throat> What more can I say? Top billing. Top.